Throughout our lives, most of us have played some sort of sport, whether it is baseball, basketball, cheer, gymnastics, or soccer. We all have some sort of organized competition under our belts. I've played sports my entire life, and the most frustrating part about playing a sport is getting injured. Last season, I was out for two weeks with an elbow strain, and it was very crushing to me because I've always been a fierce competitor on the field, and for those two weeks, I was unable to help compete with my teammates to win on a daily basis. I went to our trainers here at school, and they told me I came in just enough time to help prevent a more serious injury, such as a UCL tear in my elbow, which is on a collateral ligament, and it's more furtherly known as the Tommy John injury, where if it tears, you have to get Tommy John. So I've always wondered what could prevent such injuries, and they told me that my elbow was super tight, and they could tell that I hadn't properly been stretching to the best of my ability. I also let them know that my injury had been, or my injury or my arm had been hurting for a couple of weeks prior to me coming in and seeing them, but that, follow, that week that I was in the trainer's room, it became unbearable, so I came in and then got it checked out. They told me to not do that because if it started to feel some sort of if I started to feel some sort of discomfort, they needed me to come in that right after I felt the discomfort so they could assure me what was wrong and make sure that I'm not injured and that it's just some sort of discomfort. So I'm going to be telling you today the two ways to help prevent any sort of muscle injury. And the two ways are stretching properly, making sure you're taking your stretching seriously and making sure that you're going in as soon as you feel the discomfort rather than when it's completely obliterated or injured or torn. So the first reason, first way is stretching. Last year I was playing baseball and I was tossing and throwing, doing all these doing all these things that we do at the baseball field, and I wasn't stretching properly. I would just go to practice and I would sit in a stretching group, talk to my buddies, not fully get my stretch in and just jack around. But that was the reason why my injury had occurred. I hadn't properly been stretching out my body, doing my stretches, my arm stretches, my toe touches or whatever. I'd just been goofing around. And the trainers told me that if I had stretched properly that my injury wouldn't have would not have, have occurred. So down the road, I'm gonna make sure, making sure that I'm stretching properly, making sure I'm super loose and not tight when I go out on the mound. And, this, and there's a study from Harvard that says, stretching keeps the muscles flexible, strong and healthy, and we need, need that flexibility to maintain a range of motion in the joints. Without it, the muscles shorten and become tight. Then, then you call on the muscles for activity. They're weak and unable to extend all the way. That puts you at the risk for joint pain, strains, and muscle damage. So Harvard Medicine also says that stretching before you do any sort of physical activity will help reduce your injuries in your muscles or your ligaments. So making sure you're fully stretched is very important. The second way to help prevent an injury is making sure that you go into the trainers or the doctors as soon as you feel any sort of discomfort. Don't wait until your ligament is torn in your elbow or it's, the pain is unbearable because it's pointless at that point because you're already injured. Doctors and trainers are there to help prevent any sort of injury and making sure that you're going into the doctor whenever the discomfort starts is very important because it will allow you to look at what is actually wrong with your arm, your leg, or whatever's injured so that you can get treatment and do some rehab to help boost up that ligament or muscle to back to 100%. So making sure that you're stretching properly and making sure you're going into the doc trainer or doctor as soon as you Feeling discomfort is very important, and I hope that you take this as a learning experience and you make sure that you take my advice down the road while you play any sort of sports or you work out. Thank you.